When we last left Patrick Galloway, we had just thrown Lisbeth's head off this cliff. Stuck. All right. Good deal. I didn't think so. Can I? We can't break this, can I? That's yeah. That's where I fought her. I'm pretty sure. Oh. The haste, probably. <laughs> yeah. Whee. <sighs> I did it. Get out of here, bats. <laughs> Is that one just my friend now? There. Can't believe I made it out of there. Better head back to the mainland. The mean land. All right, we made it. Need a key. Something was oh. watching me. What? Outside in the shrubbery. All I know is Jeremiah isn't paying me enough for this. I'm leaving. Good on ya. Hmm. Health and ammo immediately visible. There. Let's try using spooky eyeballs. What's up, Creeper Kitty? How are you this wonderful evening? There appears to be nothing going on in the pool yard. Or whatever that is. Get him down. Look alive. He's oh, cheapers. Ugh. Only Jeremiah would leave two rounds in his revolver. I'm okay. Pretty good. I'm sleepy. Do the 
his scythe again. Get him now! Look alive, he's here! Got him. Really? That sucks. There we go. Dead. All dead. That's horrible. Your poor internet. My hunty brothers. The stranger must be stopped. Beware, he has skill. Remember the advice from the master in the east. Hence the general is skillful in attack whose opponent does not know what to defend. And he is skillful in defense whose opponent does not know what to attack. When the stranger is dead, return to me in the Pirate's Cove. Ambrose, I live not very far from Pirate's Cove. Kitchen key. Yay, now I can finally get something to eat. I'll head back. Actually has pretty good reach on it. Won't budge. Stuck. Oh, oh. Deck on it, haunted kitchen. Assuming I need to step in or check in with Jeremiah. Jammed. Luke. Sounds so upset. Jammed. Stuck. scared me. I didn't think I'd run into anyone at this hour. Likewise. So tell me, what do you know of Ambrose? Ambrose is the family secret they like to keep quiet. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, no one has ever directly told me, but everyone on staff knows that Ambrose killed his father. It's one of those family secrets they don't like to talk about. He killed Joseph? Yes. Seven years ago, in the game room. Even the authorities in town... My word, you die in the, the game room, you die for real. Since Ambrose was such a hellion, throughout the county, Ambrose was known for his viciousness. Only a fool chose to stand in his way. I'll stand in his way. I'll obstruct his forward motion. I take it they never caught him. He emerged after months of hiding to claim his inheritance. He barged into the manor and proceeded to take whatever he wanted. By the time the constables could arrive, Ambrose had fled the scene. They gave chase, but he escaped their pursuit by leaping off a cliff. A cliff? Never hesitated for a moment. Everyone thought him to be dead. Except... Except what? We'd hear stories of Ambrose sightings for years. In the States, the Orient, even in Prussia. We really didn't believe he was still alive. 
until he came back and brought those heathens with him. The prodigal son returns. In so many words. He's gonna follow this dude around. He's I got all the I keys. You. you have indeed. Thanks. Whoa. What I heard makes more sense now. The man I heard Ambrose attack was his own father. He actually murdered his own blood. A butler filled me in on a piece of the morbid, co morbid covenant history. The family, townspeople, and local authorities were afraid of Ambrose even after he had disappeared. When he finally returned to the estate, the constables gave chase and Ambrose was able to evade them by leaping from the cliffs to the ocean far below. Their fear of him when alive was nothing compared the sightings of Ambrose following his deadly leap back from the dead. It seems the black sheep has returned. Don't make me use this on you. Whoa. Real quick. 11 May 1914. My father gave me this diary my 18th birthday, just as he did for my other siblings. He thinks by forcing us in, into the same pathetic ritual he undertook as a young man, we will magically turn into responsible adults. June 15th. Father has forced me to use my journal. He watches now across the library as I write. Self-reflection is the key to enlightenment, he says. Rotten tripe. Soon I take leave to travel... Take leave to travel Europe and the Middle East. April 14th. I have found my true brothers, the Sranti. They are a barbaric race traveling the desert in search of battle. They neither fight for independence nor to subjugate. They fight because they hate. They have taught me how to use primitive but powerful weaponry. I return home soon, bringing, bringing my knowledge and some souvenirs with me. May 3rd. I need to know what father has been researching all of these years. The old man has been negligent of everything else. I must know why this is so. I will sneak out to the island of Standing Stones to discover his secret. I will need to be careful. The ground keepers are loyal and will snitch on me if they have half the chance. May 4th. I am sure I was spotted by one of my father's servants last night. I saw his lantern as I pulled the skiff from the dock. The island was the island was a fool's errand. Old rocks and some barbaric chiseling were all it, were all it would have been worthless if not for a twist of fortune. Not wanting to be seen, I risked the reefs and moored up the coast. There, amongst the cliffs, I discovered a mysterious cove. I am certain it is the hideout of my ancestors used so long ago. I am excited to return and explore those caves. The secret will no doubt prove valuable to me. June twenty first today. In the billiard room, Father confronted me about my late-night excursions. I did not realize that a stick could do such damage. I watched as his blood stained the floor, and he begged me for mercy. I told the servants that Father's heart gave out, and he hit his head while falling. My family is shocked. The funeral is tomorrow. That was quick. Father always said self-reflection is the key to enlightenment. Allow me to reflect on this day. How could I have saved my father from a slow, painful death? I could have hit him harder. June 23rd. The constable is looking for me. He is suspicious. This may be my last entry in this journal, for I will not be caught alive since father's death. All fear has left me. Although the life I know is coming to an end, I feel as if I am about to begin anew. Assassin's Creed. This is... Whoa! Off with your head, or just smack you to the ground. How did they get inside? Did they just attack me because I was re reading their boss's journal? Some things never change. One by one, my kin are dying. This pathetic excuse for a world is coming to an end. I write now only to pass the time, waiting for the authorities to cease their search for my body. Looking back, I smile at the voices in my head that always said to keep th this pirate's cove a secret. And I shared my hideout 
With my siblings, the police would have shackled me up long ago and said I am the hot-tempered black sheep covenant who leapt to his death to avoid capture. Only my childhood companion Connor knew of this lair, and he sadly didn't share my vision of things to come. Funny, even I thought watching the life pour from a friend would trigger some remorse or compassion in, in me, but such is not the case. This place is more of a home to me than my father's manor ever was. Long before I took this cove as my own, generations of thieves and smugglers found sanctuary here. Feeling their presence and guiding whispers drove me to unite with the Serranti. Even the weakest sheep serves a purpose. Oh, the day comes close. Ambrose Covenant. Ugh. Just me. Jammed. I know I got room for those Molotovs. Do I have to jump on this and then on this? Oh, maybe I don't. Okay, never mind. Bro, you just let those guys straight up ambush me in Ambrose's room. So, I'm assuming now I just gotta go back outside, eh? Whoop. Is that what the deal is? Jammed. Probably. So, I am not going to screw around up here. I'm sure that uh, Jeremiah is sleeping or doing other less innocent things. Ooh. And uh, there's a flying nightmare creature. That is a pretty terrible bite. I don't care. Um, this way? This way. Stuck. Nope. I was wrong. That was cool. <laughs> barrel <sighs> but let me reload it first I mean I'll be the first to admit that I'm not the best uh, FPS player but jeepers th this is not the easiest game to shoot stuff in. I just had something. Yeah, you heard your death. Oh. Okay. A cut might improve your looks. I just had something. Wow. Both barrels. Perfect. Both barrels from my shotgun. And still, that was very Doom 64 sounding. Still need two swipes with the old scythe. The old Covenant Slayer.
head. Stuck. Why is the house overrun by banditos? Whoops! Both of his arms? Oh. Oh. More than both of his arms. His shoulders and his chest and his upper back and his head too. Stuck. Isn't it either? All kinds of turned around in here. But I've still been seeing bad guys, so that's a good sign. Cozy. Chad, an echo, Ferks, Ferks, <laughs> folks heard but not seen. That's the only way I can describe it and describe it. And yet that isn't accurate either. I heard Ambrose, the family disgrace, arguing with someone in the distinct crack of timber, like a billiards cue. It was clearly <sighs> striking someone when referring to the family curse. Whoever it was, I don't think he need worry about a curse anymore. Oh, he did. Don't act like you don't know who that was. We were just talking to old dude about that. Wait, did I go in a big old circle? I did. Jam. Great outdoors. Okay. Now to find this pirate's cove. Uh -oh. 
That is a giant hole that I can't fit through. Hey, you Ming. Is there any way out to the standing storms? Aye. There should be an old skiff by the water that would allow you to get out there. It's very dangerous to paddle around though, so don't go exploring the coastline or you'll find yourself wrecked on the many reefs. Here, let me unlock the gate for you. Thank you, kind sir. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> yes, indeed. What's up, Leaf? There it goes. Jeepers. Nice. Good old Splatoon. They've killed another donkey. And a sheep, no less. Or is it a sheep? It's a ram. Yeah, you really don't have to be close to those, to your enemy to hit them with this thing. Uh. Oh. <laughs> This feels like the other place. Ooh, there they are. These stones are different from the droidic designs. Yeah. when I left a scroll. Shield, nice. Why can all of them fly? Waters around the standing stones are too treacherous to navigate. Perhaps I should return to the manor and try to find a coastal route to Pirate's Cove. The groundskeeper may be able to give me a clue for my journey. I'm gonna go find out what this dude's up to. Oh! Just go ahead and use shield there. Where are you? Do you leave? Oh, oh, there he is. Oh. Oh, it was a lady. I did not realize. Alright. Let's see. Hit takes that shield up. Just 
take it right there. Come back here. Woo. mini-boss. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize how, uh... Ugh. Shield. I have it. I don't know. Not even worth the effort. There. Much better. A cut might improve your look. That's what you get for stop stopping to uh, taunt. Cannot bear such a stunty. Curse you. What is this? That's too just tripping. I see you in hell. I just heard something. I couldn't see him. I just heard something. Not that time, buddy. Ugh. Well, that didn't last long. Oh, might have to do with my mana. That would actually make a lot of sense. <laughs> uh oh, where's the groundskeeper? Oh, this place is falling apart. Cove in the area. I'm not familiar with any cove. However, old Sidgwick, who maintains the lighthouse, is as old as the sea itself. If anyone knows this area, it'd be him. Very interesting. A groundskeeper told me about an old man, the lighthouse keeper. Said he would be able to tell me the location of the cove. Name is Sedgwick. He didn't say his name was Sedgwick, Sedgwick nor did he, or maybe he did. But he definitely didn't say that he could tell me where the cove is. Here lies Connor.
Knock, knock. I'll be taking this. Need a key. Need a key. And this. Please and thank you. Tournament jumping or Unreal, rather, not Unreal Tournament. I could tell you're not one of them teeth and Trisanti. Nay, so. I'm a friend of Jeremiah Jeremiah, eh? Is he still alive? Last I saw him months ago, the face of death was on him. He's better in. Wanna never know why how deserted the Covenant grounds have been. Only what I see prowling round a Trasanti scum. <laughs> how did it get on the grounds? I helped him to. The only reason I'm still alive is because those thugs need me to mend a lighthouse. This is a treacherous inlet, but all the fog, you know. And since the bridge back to the mainland's been destroyed, the Trasanti need me to keep their boats from crashing up on the cliffs. Call me Sedgwick. Are you alone here? No, I am. Them thieves killed me only son Connor when he tried to drive him off. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. Do you have Bastards. any idea where these thieves are hiding out? Judging by the fair amount of Trasanti patrols I've seen by the caves upon the coast of it. I'd see their hideouts nearby. Sounds dangerous, but I've got no choice. Things alone better get check worse it out. Not stopped. I bet Ambrose <clears throat> is there too. Maybe if I can get to him, the Trasanti won't have any reason to be here. Ambrose, eh? Come to think of it, I may have seen him lurking about. But oh, that's not good news for Jeremiah, I say. As I record, there was these tunnels that went from the shore up into them cliffs. Right up to this old garrison perched on top. My father kept me from playing up there by sealing off the tunnels with an iron door he kept locked. I wonder if the key might be in his old sea chest. Where is this chest? In my living quarters. Because <laughs> I certainly haven't already seen it. Maybe. Why do you ask? Those Trisanti robbed me of everything including my revolver. They didn't find me grandfather stuff though. Including some silver bullets he got in the merchant marines. He believed them superstitions and say you can kill werewolves and evil creatures with them. <laughs> some of the weird kill them with regular bullets too, as it turns out. Might come in handy. I know they're in the chest, so here. Take this key to my living quarters and have a look see. Thanks. I appreciate your help. The more of them bastards you kill, the better. The way they killed my son, oh, it's the least I can do. Alright. We Oh, ouch. That's okay. Quicker way back down the stairs. I picked up silver bullets. In my search for Ambrose, I ventured out to the lighthouse and met Sedgwick, the lighthouse keeper. Mm -hmm. With the first words from his mouth, he confirmed my suspicions about Ambrose's henchmen. The Tersanti aiding Ambrose are descendants of the very cowards Jeremiah and I fought at the Great War, or in the Great War, and they have not changed their ways. Sedgwick's son, Connor, was killed by these thieves. Before Connor's death, he spoke of their hideout located not far up the coast, concealed by cliffs and hidden in a cove. Sedgwick suggested that I look for an entrance on the surface, which can be unlocked with a key in his father's chest. He mentioned I would also find silver bullets in his living quarters. I certainly do not need any further incentive to kill as many Tosante as I see. Ambrose or no Ambrose. Nice. 
Okay, so now I need to find... It's probably this way. Gotta find an entrance of some sort. <laughs> Worst stairs ever. Ooh. I see a bad guy. More than one, as it were. Watch. Oh, dude. Creepers, creepers. Wow. his head off before he could do anything. <gasps> Cedric was correct. The Dersante are here and from the looks of things in numbers. Time to exact some revenge for Cedric and Jeremiah and for myself. God be with me.